I'm the budding watch enthusiast here on the Watch With Us channel, and today we are reviewing the Swiss watch company Diver. So first of all, a thank you to the Swiss watch company for loaning this watch in for review here on Watch With Us. So the first thing that I have to talk about with this watch, and it's the first thing that I noticed as soon as I pulled it out of the box, and that is the obvious uh, Seamaster Professional inspiration that this watch draws from. You can definitely see it in the case with these oversized crown guards, you can see it with the scalped bezel, and then you can see it. Uh, with the polished edges get running down the center links on the bracelet here. Now I would definitely not go as far to call it an homage, it's definitely far from that, but it's definitely speaking uh, the same language. The case is my absolute favorite feature of this watch. It does have a very nice uh, brushed finish along most of it. You do see these little flared uh, beveled edges that come down over top of the lugs. And I really love the stamped and decorated case back uh, with the Swiss watch company logo and branding on it. I also really dig the 13 millimeter height of this watch. Oftentimes uh, with divers of this style, you see them go a little bit larger uh, from 14 millimeters and up, but I really think that the watch for being 44 millimeters in width uh, is pretty well proportioned thanks to the reined in height. Now I would imagine the scalloped ceramic bezel on this watch is probably gonna be the most divisive feature uh, for most folks. The raised numerals and markers combined with the textured stripes that run along the entire bezel definitely give it a unique look and feel amongst its peers. But I think there's a lot of folks who would have desired to have a more flat matte ceramic bezel in this watch as opposed to what we have here. Again, that's gonna really come down to personal preference, uh, but I think it's gonna be one of the features that determines whether or not you really enjoy this watch. For me, the dial is a little bit more of a mixed bag. I really do like the pinstriping pattern that you see here in the center of the dial, but unfortunately having the painted markers on the dial, not having applied markers, uh, necessitate that pattern being limited to the central portion of the dial. And while I really like the pattern, the fact that it's kind of enclosed in this small area makes the dial look a little bit disjointed. I really love the handset here on this SWC Diver. I think that they are a great choice from a style standpoint, and they also are the absolute correct length. As you see, the minute hand runs all the way out to this chapter ring track on the outside, and the hour hand reaches these hour markers perfectly. The Super Luminova is fantastic on the watch. According to the SWC website, they use 20 layers of Super Luminova here. Uh, you can definitely tell that once this watch has spent a little time in the sun, it is lit up like a torch. Uh, when the lights go out. The bracelet on this watch is probably the biggest negative for me. I feel like I would have liked it more if the center links didn't stick up so far uh, above the side links that you see running down the bracelet. The integrated clasp that they use on this watch uh, does definitely cut down on bulk at the bottom, but not being able to have micro adjustments on a steel bracelet is usually a huge turnoff for me. I will say that if I did own this watch, I would probably be wearing it on a NATO strap or a rubber strap uh, the vast majority of the time. I will say I am really impressed with the value proposition that the SWC Diver does provide. For 450 bucks, you are getting a steel diver uh, with 300 meters water resistance, SW200 Salita movement inside of it, so a Swiss movement, along with a solid end link bracelet. That's a pretty tough combination to beat, especially as that's the regular price the watch is selling for. That's not like a Kickstarter backer exclusive price, so a pretty good value. I think the SWC Diver is a really solid option if uh, if this style of dive watch is your jam. For me, the biggest issues that I had with the watch, with the bracelet, the bezel, and then the dial patterning are all aesthetic. That's all going to be to personal taste. I do think that if you're looking for a dive watch under 500 bucks, that you should definitely check out the Swiss Watch Company Diver. Uh, and it's a great first offering from a company that's stepping into the independent space for the first time. Thank you guys so much for watching my review of the Swiss Watch Company Diver. If you guys enjoyed this review or found it informative, hit the thumb down below and feel free to share this on social media or on forums if you think someone else might find it useful. Consider subscribing to us here at Watch With Us by hitting the red subscribe button down below. And you can also find a direct link to my channel, The Budding Watch Enthusiast, in the description. Thank you so much for watching this review and I will see you all the next time here on Watch With Us.